Ooh la ooh la ooh la. I suppose we should turn on some music. Oh, what what should we say? Hey, Samantha, how you doing? Um, I'm doing I'm doing the share. We got to do the share first. Let's see here. What's uh? Um. Wine bottle holster take. Time. Come see. All right. All right. You're getting there. Hi, Barb. How you doing? Not up on Twitch yet. That's interesting. Okay, so quick question. Can you guys hear music? Let's adjust this. Hi, Barb. I hear music through here. I think we're good. Okay. You're not bad. That's good to hear. Okay. Oh, no, that's not what I want. Sure. Copy link. There we go. Um, then. Go away. Not you, this thing on my phone. There we go. There we go. All right. I wish I could spell. That would be nice. All right. We have hit so many roadblocks with this wine bottle holster that I'm getting, getting tired of it, you know what I mean? There is a delayed echo. Never mind, it's gone. Okay, well, let me know if it comes back. I'll we'll figure something out. Okay, that's that. Let's turn on Frank here. Before we do that. Happy Christmas Eve Eve to everyone. I am. I'm pretty much done with work for the next two days. Got some stuff I got to do. I got to go see someone on Saturday. But I'm done. So I'm going to have a drink and relax. And hopefully we will figure out what's going on with this. Uh, wine bottle holster because it does not want to play and I don't know why so we're gonna work on that uh, 
Um, let's turn Frank on. Okay. That's not what I want to do. So I don't know why these two bands of uh, interwoven four and one are not matching up. I mean, I'm. It's got to be because they're from di different batches of rings, right? So the only solution. essentially is to take this apart and try again so we're going to keep on keeping on doing that the Joe Dirt way it's I'll admit it's beyond frustrating right I want to get I want to get the leather straps attached to this bottle a certain way and we're just going to have to work until we figure out a way that uh, allows us to do that which I don't recommend working that way. To be, to be quite honest, you're much better off with a batch of rings from all the same batch, same manufacturer, um, and a plan for what you're going to do instead of haphazardly throwing rings together and then taking a bunch of them apart and then putting more together and taking those apart like I'm doing right now. So... Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh man. I hope that's not a sign of things to come. I took my allergy pill today, but it doesn't always matter. Alright. Alright, David. Merry Christmas and Thanks for the good luck wishes. Someone on uh, Twitch stopped by to say hi. The guy that uh, is making the fireworks. Please check your network connection. Why? Huh. That was weird. I finally got YouTube pulled up. I got YouTube, Twitch, and Streamlabs in front of me. I need one more device for to have like a Facebook Live. Thank you. Thank you for the blessings. I need them. It's really windy outside, so. I think stuff's being brought in from somewhere else, and it's no fun. All right. So how was everyone's day today? I had uh, I had quite quite the day in my travels. I think I did about 300 miles today. 
200 definitely 200 maybe only three and uh, has driving around all over southeastern Wisconsin I got a cover down for one of our one of our nurses is out because um, she she had a baby which I guess is uh, probably a pretty good reason to to be off work for a little bit so we had to take care of some of her patients and I don't mind the drive out there because I just get paid to drive you know I'm fine with that um, and the patient is a very adorable little 85 year old lady and uh so I get to go out and hang out with her for a little bit. But it does take up a lot of my day. And I was very I was exhausted by the time I come back. The car that I drive, I drive a company car and it's a Nissan something. And if your legs are here, in order to press on the gas, you have to cock your your right leg over, right? and kind of twist your heel out right it's a really really weird angle right my my daily driver I have an f-150 that I drive and I'm like sitting up super high up off the road and I can see everything and then I get in this car and I'm like slouched back and my legs all cocked sideways and I got out of that car today and my hip was on fire I couldn't believe it. I had to I had to sit down for for quite a while just to just to calm the sciatic nerve in my leg back down. Oh speaking of speaking of nerves and pain. Let's get the old get the old foot massager going here. There we go. Alright. I need one of these for my hip. I got a foot massager for Christmas last year, year before. And it is amazing. I keep it under my desk for when I'm down here working. Um, for occasions just such as this. It's nice. I couldn't, like, I had really bad plantar fasciitis. Um, which is where the arches of your feet, like, burn constantly. And, um, uh, I got this foot massager. And I couldn't, I could barely put my foot in the, in the slot for your foot. I couldn't put my feet all the way in. I had to like ease my way into it. Um, then I started stretching out my calves really good. Because that's where like a lot of plantar fasciitis starts is like your calves tighten up and it, like if this is your calf right here, right? It tightens up and pulls your foot forward, right? And it stresses out the tendons on the bottom of your foot, tendons and ligaments, and they get all inflamed and cause a ton of pain, right? So I started stretching out my calves and I was able to move my foot more. So after I started doing that, I was finally able to enjoy the foot massager. All right. All right, we're almost done taking this apart. We've taken we've taken way too much of this apart so far. It's not the first project I've had to do a revision on, but it's the first one in a while I've had this many revisions on it, you know. It's 
It's also not the first project I've had some cockamamie half-brained idea to try. So, I've done this before. I'm an, I'm an experienced mailer in uh, screwing it up. Not everything works out. Like, I'm used to that. I just really thought that these uh, interwoven 4-in-1 bands would roughly be the same size. I didn't know how wrong I was. So my day started out pretty good actually. Um, one of my uh, one of my patient's families they made a bunch of cookies, right? They make a bunch of cookies every year. And a uh, bunch of different styles. And they made a whole plate of cookies for me that I got to bring home. So, that was quite nice. Have cookies for breakfast, first thing in the morning. I mostly like all of my patients. They're mostly nice people. I do have one patient um, she's a very nice lady. She's not really there much anymore um, for a multitude of reasons but uh, she smokes and has a bunch of cats in her house so every time I leave her house I smell like cigarettes and cats. And it's very pungent. And I think that's really about the only complaint I have. Other than that, she's very, you know, very sweet lady. I just don't want to smell like cigarettes and cats. There we go. All right. So this is two patches uh, or two bands of interwoven four in one that don't work for this project. We'll have to take some more rings off that but we can do that later. All right. This is the outside, that's the inside. Um started to after we got off stream last night I was curious so I spent another 15 minutes down here and I made I started making this little tunnel where we're gonna put the leather strap right and it hangs out over the top and it seems to it seems to work so far some of these rings don't lay quite as flat as I'd like but We're going to keep trying it out. So. Now we can move. Now we can have forward progress. Right. Oh. Okay. All right, well, I'm... <sighs> I'm deliberating on whether or not I've made the right decisions with this piece, but, you know, it is what it is.
We got a pile of rings here and we'll just have to see what we can do with them. This was a this was a much needed break. I think I was a little stressed out this week. You know? Hey Josh, how you doing, buddy? What are you up to? It's like throwing knives earlier. That's pretty cool. As soon as uh As soon as I get a chance. I would like to make a target for knife throwing. Um, it's one of those projects that I've wanted to do since I was uh, very young. And it's easily accomplishable. I, I have more than enough skill to do it now. So, I'm going to do it. Teach my kid to throw knives at an early age. That sounds responsible All right. doing well that was on your obstacle course right on I'd like a little bit more land so I could have an obstacle course, among other things. What did I drive by? I drove by a place that they have like a zip line out in the woods here in Wisconsin. I want to go do that. That seems like fun. I don't want to build a zip line in my backyard or anything, but that's how my brain works. You know, land, obstacle course, zip line. All right, where are we at here? How much farther we have to go? Oh, we got a, we got quite a ways there, so we'll just keep going. It took forever to get that ten ve second video to load. Yeah. Yep. How did you eventually get it to load? Did you just like wait long enough or did you change a setting, clear your cache? What was the secret? Did you beat your computer? Punch it in the screen? Technology is great until it's not, you know. Some of the... Oh, some of the stuff I've, I've used over the years is, you know, gotta have that uh, program or whatever. What's up, Justin? It would load so much to install, you'd start over and start uploading again. That sounds like fun. It's 
So like Facebook's just being nitpicky. Facebook can be very temperamental. It really can. They've got too many restrictions on stuff and you have more videos but you can't get them to upload either. That sucks. Have you tried turning it off and turning it back on again? Uh, I think I'm funny. I'd go to your settings, clear your cache, and punch a computer in the face, and then if that doesn't work, just sacrifice it, burn it somehow. I was so excited last night when like we when I thought we had gotten much farther on this and you know weren't hitting any roadblocks I can't tell you how like I was on stream I was trying to not you know act pissed when I put it put the it's in here I was trying not to act pissed when I put with a piece that we had last night on and it stopped right there because this top band wouldn't expand far enough for it to go down. I was so upset. I was quite demoralized last night. So we need that one, but we actually have to check how we're doing. It's temperamental, all right. Was trying your temper and making you mental. That's right. That's funny. Oh, I should probably like show you guys what I'm doing instead of my pretty face. Christmas presents are wrapped. Got my stocking, stocking stuffers set aside, ready to go. Gonna relax tomorrow. I don't have too much to do. Like, I have to jump up and down about the Mailworks Christmas contest. It's like super duper close. We're gonna we're gonna try and we'll mirror the clatter of the Russell Chainmail. We're working on a Bibby Bees and Black and Purple Chonky Choker. Nice. Oh, it's mmm, the clatter and rustle of chain mail. I see.
trying to connect these things together is uh, no work for you tonight. You're getting ready to go bake cookies and bread with kids. Sweet. Sweet. All right. I think I jumped the gun on this. Hang on. No, I should go through that one, right? I'm just trying to figure out where this needs to go. I think it goes right here, but we'll figure that out in a second. I've I've connected these so many times and like it always looks right. Do I have any special Christmas traditions now? I I simply try to survive. Right. Um, and I did okay this year. I'm I'm not a not a big Christmas person. Or holidays or any of that. Okay. Alright, it looks right. Someone someone will probably notice a flaw someday. All right, that fits. If it fits, it ships, right? Let's see if we can get a matching one, a matching i4 and one band to fit. That would be incredibly ideal right now. You think Santa would needs whiskey this year? I mean, we'll put out, you know, San Santa likes Tullamore Dew or Mead. Word. Oh. Oh, eyeballs. There we go. Can confirm that Santa likes Tullamore Dew and Mead. I'm like I struggle to get the lights up. I I don't want to put up a Christmas tree. I, it just takes too much time away. I already don't have enough time to get the stuff done that I want to get done. And so when you add like holiday stuff in there, I was like, eh, no thanks. We'll, we'll read the night before Christmas. Um, we will. Uh, I think we have opened our stockings early every year. That's been pretty consistent. So we'll open them on uh, like Christmas Eve. All right, Josh, have a good night. Merry Christmas. All right, buddy. You have a good night, too. Yeah, it looks amazing. Now, if I can get it to work, that's, you know, that's the other trick. That's the, that's the other half of uh, getting this done. All right.
we go. We've got some part of that E4 and one we took out earlier. We're gonna add it so back in. Thank you. Sure you kill. Sure you key. Thanks for joining us. I think it's cool too. We're making a wine bottle holster and it's been fighting with us what the last three sessions. But we're gonna we're gonna get it to work. And then we're gonna send it off to a buddy of mine. So that he can go and have fun at the Renaissance Festival. Chainmail wine bottle holsters are not a common thing at Ren Fairs, as far as I know. I've never seen one before. So hopefully it'll be quite the unique item for him to have. We are, we have some European foreign one that we cut off earlier that we're adding back in now. Because some of the other uh, pieces did not want to cooperate, so. Well, thank you for the follow. I do appreciate it. Oh, we're missing a ring there. Thanks for being here. Um, oh, I think I'll just. Oh, sorry about that. I think we're just going to weave those last few rows in. And then we'll redo the same thing we did last night, which uh, didn't work out, but hopefully it'll work this time. Keto Burrito, thanks for joining us. Appreciate you being here. I love, I love that name. Parquito Burrito. We're making a wine bottle holster. It's coming along. Get that bread, get that head, and then leave. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that uh, applies to chain mail. Usually, you're you're just there trying to get the bread. Um, because chain mail takes forever, so you never get to anything else. Question becomes, did I make this other band?
is it the same size is it gonna fit is it gonna allow us to to have two bands at a minimum go around this bottle right we'll find out here in a minute I guess I'm good at chainmail. Thank you. I've been doing it for a long time. Um, there are there are many many people so much better than me at this stuff. <coughs> you like my taste in music? <coughs> it's um, Pretzel Rock on Streamlabs. I have I have done nothing so far. Um, to like pick songs aside from pick the rock channel. So I'm glad you like it. I like it of what I can hear of it. I'm just happy that we have music that you guys can hear and music that I can hear and it's all the same music and I don't have an echo. That was a, a very big first step. In streaming um, it took me it took me several streams to figure out and several instructional videos and it turns out I knew it was just a setting somewhere and it was the setting you know right down here in the corner that I just needed to adjust real quick and poof it worked music I won't get banned for playing I won't get any DMCA hits right or DCMA DMCA I don't know and it's like it's it was just easier to be like, yeah, you know, get something that's already, you know, that already has unlicensed music or music approved to be, to be played because, um, I wasn't going to sift through a bunch of stuff trying to find all that myself, you know, I don't have free time as it is. Much less time to do that. One day. One day I'll have that kind of free time, but... Not right now. Keto says he likes my energy. And what is that? Are those socks and noob? Socks new. Yes. I'm very new at this. Definitely not new to chain mail, but it was an easy decision. It's like I'm sitting down here making chainmail, you know, already talking to myself. Might as well get it on camera and stream to make content for my website, so. Which is, you know, if that's all I do with it, great. I really appreciate you guys hanging out 
and watching and commenting and because it does make it a lot more entertaining. I need to draw like tape out where the camera rests and where the visuals uh, on the camera show up so I'm not like moving my hands around as much out of the field of view. I think I'll do that later. It's, gonna, it's just gonna be some tape. It's a big red X. So I'm gonna keep my hands over it the whole time. Will I marry you? No. We just met. I'm not that kind of girl. Perkito, I'm assuming that that is socks noob and that it's shorthand for socks noob But otherwise I have no idea what those two Images mean Emojis whatever they are No, it's socks that say CBT, okay Is that the, uh, what all the, what is CBT? Even Parquito, they don't know. They don't know. an emote from Twitter. No, that's fine. I just, I'm just trying to, uh, trying to read your hieroglyphs and, you know, I know that I don't know what those things mean, so it's fine to me that I don't know. I don't know what CBT is either. Chlorobioxyl triamthermine. I mean, so you can subscribe to people and get the money you get emotes from the channels. Most of them are jokes from inside the stream. Yeah. Now I'm familiar. I'm familiar with uh, that on Twitch. I was not. I did not realize that that is what those were. But that's okay. It's fine. My son gets upset when people call him noob. I'm old. I don't get offended at anything. Cognitive behavioral therapy. There you go. That's much better than uh, my made-up suggestion. <laughs> you love my stream already? Well, thank you. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're having fun. Just trying to 
up my uh trying to up the effort into putting my business out there online energy is very pog champ there's another but it isn't safe <laughs> okay Samantha okay See, now you say energy is very pog champ, and I think like sixth grade playing pogs, which really ages myself right there, really dates myself. Um, and you know, the pog champ, where you have the slammer and you slam it down on the little cardboard pogs and you flip them over to win them. <laughs> I will be. Anybody else know what I'm talking about when I say pogs? I had the coolest pogs. I'm gonna go tell my friends. They told me my stream was very pog champ. They were like, whoa! And they're not gonna know what it means either. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, where are we at here? It's, it's time to figure out will these two bands match, right? Are they going to match? That's all we want. We need four matching bands of interwoven 4 one in order to get this to work. And we haven't come up with two yet so far, and we've we've made we've made four. So excuse me. There's there's only one way to go about doing it, which is to just start connecting these two pieces but still hmm mustache hair <sighs> right. they look matching um if you watched last night's stream um what happened was we we had two bands one on either side of this strip here and when we got it all connected up and everything, the top band did not fit over the bottle, which was very aggravating. <laughs> all right, so let's let's see. Um. I didn't those do not those do not match up at all Hold on. let's try that again there we go come on to do that inside out and backwards uh oh no way speaking of doing it inside out and backwards I'm glad I caught that All right. third time's a charm right Third time is not a charm. 
Do I even know what I'm doing anymore? I swear. Sorry. I'm trying to figure out where I keep screwing this up. It's not that hard to connect these two together. Alright. Lay out the rings nicely and neatly. Make sure that the row we need matches the bottom row here okay go only took five tries it's fine right. now we're still gonna have the two bands are going to be going in opposite directions, right? That's still, like, it wasn't how I wanted it to end up, but after trying to, like, eyeball measure everything out for the leather strap to fit, I didn't really see a way around it, so. Yeah, it is what it is. I would have preferred them all going the same direction. Only, like, five people in the world would notice if I didn't say anything, so it's fine. All right, let's get this thing on here. Holy crap, we're at an hour already. It's a problem with chain mail. Time flies when you're having fun, and uh, also it feels like you've got nothing done the whole time, so. then of course you know aside from weaving it wrong a bunch of times there's plenty of times when you weave it correctly and you're like did I do that right is that is that in the right place it's fine Alright, 
Chiriaki. Thanks for hanging out. I really appreciate it. Good luck on all your chain mail. Thank you. I hope it works out. I'm, I'm not going to throw the towel yet, but man, I'd really, I'd really like for it to work, you know? <laughs> that would be great. Be awesome for things to work out the way you uh, the way you plan. Yeah, it's super cool. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate. It. I like it. I do enjoy it. What time is it? Oh, it's ten o'clock. Yeah. People are off to bed. I'm fortunate. I don't have to work tomorrow. I've got some stuff I got to do, but it's not, it's nothing, uh, too taxing. So I'll knock that out and get started on cleaning the house for people to come over on, uh, Friday. Get through Christmas and then I'm finally gonna sit down and watch the Mandalorian. The second season. I watched the first season last weekend, so I'm looking forward to the, just relaxing. It's been a hell of a year. Not my worst year by far. Right, 2019 was far worse than this. I lost my mom in 2019. Um it was it was very shocking. Um, she was on a trip out of the country and uh, and passed away in her sleep. With you know, no one expected that at all. So, like twenty nineteen was rough. Twenty twenty sucks, but. It was not as bad for me as other, you know, other years. It's not my worst year, but I am ready for it to be over. Ready to move on. I'm, re I'm ready for everyone to get that fresh start feel to a new year. You know? I need that first two weeks of the new year where everybody, like, yay, New Year's resolutions, and, you know, they get excited about what they're doing for like two weeks you know and then they slog through the rest of uh, January and February because you know, it's freezing cold outside and you can't do anything but you know the enthusiasm rocks whether they keep their New Year's resolution or not I don't care All right but you can tell, like on Facebook, that everybody's suffering from being cooped up. It's time to, uh, time to get out of the funk we're all in, you know? I'm ready.
just enjoy this last little week. And then on to bigger and better things next year. you will give me let's see this this should tell us right here if, if this is like are we close it looks like we're close right like that's a good sign right there huh it doesn't feel like it's like pulling tight or anything so I'm gonna keep going and hopefully we'll get two more interwoven uh, four-in-one bands. Popping in to say hi. Did anyone else spend money on their credit card in anticipation of a stimulus check? Like titanium rings? At least you have, at least you have your nice warm Sean blanket. Yeah. All right. Where is my blanket? I think it's over on the couch. Those, those things are ridiculously warm. <coughs> I, think, I, think, I think the stimulus is coming. Will it come this year? That's a good question. I don't know. I'm there was there was so much crap in that bill, like I I'm okay with it. I'm go I'm okay with not getting six hundred dollars, but I understand if you already spent the money, you know. Yeah. I, I'd understand why you'd want it. I think I think it's gonna come. Just gotta give it a little bit. Three martini lunch. There you go. All right, I'm gonna grab a drink. I will be right back. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna grab a drink and uh, handle some business real quick. see here I should have grabbed my blanket while I was up. 
That's okay. We'll do impromptu commercial time another time. I want to figure out if this is gonna gonna work or not. Answer, in answer to your question, Tara, if you're still hanging out, that I have not spent any money in expectation of getting a stimulus check. I uh, I went ahead and uh, I didn't go broke for Christmas, but I got close. So I think that's I think that's close enough. Get. I gotta go run and grab beer tomorrow, but uh, for the family when they come over. But other than that, like we've got the roast, all the sides are they're coming. So we should we always have a good family meal on the holidays. That's what I'm most excited for. To be honest. Just give me the food. I hope, I don't think this is going to happen, but I hope someone cooks a pumpkin pie. You know, I'm a big fan. That is my favorite pie. And I only got like half a piece, you know, over Thanksgiving. So I want some more. And it's still the holidays, so I'm hoping someone makes one. lengthen this band a little bit see if we can get it all the way around and attached and hopefully the two bands will match in size and we will be able to make the first piece and if we get through that much tonight I'll be pretty happy only took you know three streams to get there but
I would like to move, or I would like to finish this project and move on to something else, you know? I don't know what the next project's gonna be, but. There's plenty of stuff to get done down here, chain mail wise. None of it has to get done. I would just like to finish it so that I can move on to something else. Start zipping this up. That's oh well, probably about halfway. Where are that's what I want. We'll just keep connecting it and lengthening it until we're all the way around. And then do a test fit. It's looking like it's gonna fit. I don't know why the others were so tight, but or mismatched or whatever. And then one day, let's see here. We'll work on some stuff, you know, through the next week or so but I do have to get back to designing stuff for the store that that also does have to happen so like I would like to stream for eh, as much as I can but there is actual work to be done if we're to grow you know if we're to grow mail works in the next year. Lots of stuff's gotta get done. I do get to do that this weekend. Some of that, anyway.
Uh oh, my light just went out. That's too bad. It's a cheap light, but I've got one more. I'll have to hook it up later. Probably overheated, running it too long. It's like a light to take pictures with for a light box. So it's not really ideal for, it's not like a, over here I got a desk lamp. So we will, we will have to work on lighting issues in the future. Got to, got to sell some some product to improve the stream, but we'll get there. You know. Lights going out, Twitch isn't okay. There goes Twitch. All right, we're still going. We're getting closer. One ring at a time, man. Like, there's there's no better way to weave chain mail than by hand. If you've ever seen like machine made chain mail, like crappy machine made chain mail. It's just embarrassing. All their closures are wonky. made out of like junk metal I've seen I've seen full Persian machine made Byzantine and European foreign one right the full Persian was a couple years ago but that was a new one for me when I saw it I'd seen the other there's good machine made mail yeah mail tech and uh uh, they're the guys that I believe do the Neptunic shark suits, make welded chainmail sheet of European foreign one. <clears throat> and that's all, uh, it's like a section of uh, chainmail, 20 gauge, 1 eighth, this wide, um, all, all welded. And then to make bigger sheets, they have to hand weave and weld all the additional rings so that stuff's you know welded chainmail sheets pretty quality stuff they make like curtains and chandeliers and all kinds of crazy stuff with it yeah it it is neat Chainmail is neat. But as far as like jewelry stuff goes, no, no, I haven't seen any quality stuff handmade. You know? Every every Viking necklace, you know, that you see online has a has a closure that looks like that in it. You know? So, 
I could I could name names of, of businesses that do that. But I'd rather point you to the direction of my friend and friends, you know, who make quality stuff. Rather than, you know, tear their companies down. Unnecessarily, right? Like people buy junk all the time. Who am I to tell them not to do it? Quality chain mail is one of those buy once, cry once things, you know? All right. Where are we at here? I'm trying to get the light on it now that I only have one light left. Let's see. Oh. That's, that's looking pretty good there. Yeah, necklaces. Thanks for the like, Dust. Necklaces with horrendous closures are absolutely terrible to wear. The, uh... I mean, the people selling it don't even know that, like, people make it by hand. I'll guarantee you that. There's like, oh, cool, that kind of looks like chainmail, man, yeah. We could sell a bunch of those, and then, you know, people buy it. Because it has, like, a, a Mjolnir on it, or a, or a wolf's head or something, I don't know. It's like, really, I'm in the wrong business, right? Like, because I, I shouldn't, uh, I should just, you know, say screw it and go sell stuff like that. I don't want to do that, though. Couldn't live with myself if I did that. Every time I see it, I'm like, man, so many thousands of people can do better work than that. getting yelled at upstairs. to wait and figure out if this works later <laughs> my hands are killing me but it's looking pretty good so far that's pretty good that's pretty good so far right it's gonna tighten up right like once we create the overlap row to go over the top of the leather strap that's gonna go through here it'll tighten up a little bit because right. right now it feels really loose but we don't want it to get too tight right then 
Hopefully we can make two more bands of uh, interwoven four and one. Ah, sorry about that. I didn't mean to bang that in your eardrums. So, um, tomorrow I will be back on because tomorrow is the day that uh, if you are making a uh, decorated chainmail Christmas ball, like this one, if you made one to enter the Mailworks Christmas contest, it's you got to have it in by tomorrow night at midnight. And I hope, I hope a lot of people made one. I've seen a bunch of them that were uh, made this year. So if people just show up and like submit their entry, I'm fine with that. So I hope people participate. Due date's tomorrow. And then I'll be on tomorrow night and we'll do some more work on, uh, on this. It's fashion, baby. And otherwise, if I don't see you tomorrow night, hey Jenny, we're just finishing up here. How are you tonight? Thank you. It is wicked cool, and it's almost working this time instead of like last night where it got caught like that. It goes, it goes up and down the bottle now. So hopefully we fix that issue. We will. Uh, we will search forward. We'll move ahead with it. All right. Thanks so much for the like. You watch the replay? All right. So thank you, everyone, for hanging out. You guys rock. It definitely makes these uh, a little more interesting than sitting here by myself rambling on, you know, like a madman. All right. If you have uh, a chainmail ball, a chainmail, a, a a chainmail decorated Christmas ball ornament that you're gonna submit, it's gotta be in by tomorrow night. And uh, that's really it for tonight. Thank you so much for hanging out. I will talk to you guys. Oh, if you want to support the stream, check out mailworks.com. You can find us on uh, Instagram, Pinterest. So here, MeWe, Facebook, right? We're all over the place. I will talk to you guys.